This is the odd one out lecture. Now we will be talking about questions like these. For example, question number one. Now in question number one, we have tennis, football, badminton, water polo and table tennis. Now how do I identify which is the odd one out over here? First of all, let's see which of these are outdoor or indoor uh, sports. Probably we will find you know, that this is the relationship. Let's see. Tennis is mostly an outdoor sport. Football is mostly an outdoor sport. Badminton can be an indoor sport. Water polo, this can be indoor or outdoor, we are not sure. Table tennis is definitely an indoor sport. We can play it inside. So this is not the relationship. So why don't we go on to the other one? Let's see. What do we use for playing tennis? We use a racket and a tennis ball. Fine. For football, we use a ball. Okay. For badminton, we use a racket and the shuttlecock. With water polo, we are using a ball. Okay. So it's making sense. We're using a ball here. We're using a ball here. We're using a ball over here too. It, we're not using a ball in badminton but we're still using a ball in table tennis. So badminton, except badminton, all these sports are using a ball as the equipment. So this has to be the odd one out. Question number two. Hair, sweat, nails, saliva, none of these. We know that hair are a vestigial organ for us. Sweat is an excretory product for the body. Nails are again extra growth for the bones which are excreted out of the body. Saliva is actually not something that the body discards. So we can say that probably this is a correct answer because all of these are not used by the body. So the body rejects them but saliva is a hormonal secretion that is used in digestion. So I would say that option D is the correct answer. Now 17, 80, 62, 44 and 36. We have to identify what's the odd one out here. So before we do that, we need to understand what is the relationship between these. Let's see, we know that we can try the odd and even number approach here. Even number, even number, even number, even number. This is the odd number, so this should be your answer. All of these are even numbers. This is an odd number. This should be an answer. But I would suggest that instead of going with something as simple as this, you take a look again because sometimes what happens is you may find one or more relationships that are prevalent in the uh, question. Now this is a problem okay, to understand which is the relationship that the question creator is asking about. And we as students are left with very little choice. So we'll have to go with experience over here. And I am just saying this with experience. You may disagree with me. But probably the question is not asking which is the odd or the which is the even number in a group of odd or even numbers. Let's look at something which is more deep here, which is which is a better relationship. Why don't we try something like a multiple? Let's see if these are you know multiples of the same number. Again, 17 is a prime number. These are not. You can go with that. But again, we know that prime not prime is a bit too easy here. So you know these are multiples we cannot go with the multiple approach because it's a prime number why don't we try something like you know the sum of the digits let's see we have 6 plus 3 is 9 we have 6 plus 2 is 8 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 4 plus 4 is 8 when you discover a relationship like this you know it's an aha moment it's a wow moment because you realize that this is actually the relationship that the question maker was looking at so if you go out there and mark this answer and come back, you know, you will be thinking that you have probably got the correct answer. But the irony is that even though you have ticked the correct answer by saying that 17 is the odd one out, because in two ways it is the odd one out, but the question creator was actually looking for a relationship like this. And that is why he will say that option E is the correct one. And since we want the question creator to adjudge that we are smart enough to answer this question correctly, I would say that you use your common sense and answer questions like these with experience. Question four, butterfly, wasp, spider, bat, and a butterfly can fly, a wasp can fly, a bat can fly, an ant and a spider normally do not fly. So the fly approach does not 
sound anything like you know working here we can go with the fact that butterfly is an insect spider is an insect an ant is an insect a wasp is an insect but a bat is not so option d is our correct answer and the last one question number 5 let's look at that and now this is the fifth and the last question here you will notice that in this question the words indian ranker common symbol probably don't have a relationship with each other but as we can see there are some upper case and some lower case characters in all of them now how does this work why don't we just write it down how does option a look if we say upper case is uc and lower case is lc then option a is an upper case character then a lower case character then an upper case character then again a lower case character then upper case character and then a lower case character so it's like one upper case then lower case one upper case then one lower case fine let's see if option b also follows the same relationship we have an upper case character here then we have a lower case character then n is an upper case character here k is a lower case character e is an upper case character and r is a lower case character so option b follows the same relationship so we can see now that this is the relationship that the question is looking for let's see at option c we have an upper case character then a lower case one m is upper case then you have a lower case m then you have again a lower case o and then an upper case n so you see that this one here has a different relationship as compared to all of these now option d it's an upper case character then a lower case character then again an upper case we are going fine here then a lower case character then again an upper case and then a lower case character it's an l symbol it's a small l right so this is following the relationship this is following the relationship this is following the relationship option c is not so it's the odd one out over here this is how you will be solving all the other questions keep practicing best of luck